Hello students, welcome to wireless and uh, mobile communication lab. Today you'll be discussing, um, you'll be seeing or exploring uh, more about the last experiment of your lab, which is the 11th experiment. And that's about the study and analyze modes of operation. So we will be looking into three modes, which is active mode, acting dead mode, sleep mode, in mobile communication trainer kit. Okay. Fine. So this is your experiment 11. And uh, the objectives are to analyze these three different modes, active, acting dead, and sleep mode. So the tools required are dual SIM mobile phone textbook, then SIM cards, which supports 900 and 1800 frequency band, and power supply for the tech book. Now, firstly, we will look into the active mode. Once the tech book is uh, initially ready as per the setup, uh, then it starts detecting your signal. And then you will see those bars on the screen. And once you have the sufficient network strength, okay, uh, it's only then we have to proceed for this. Uh, functionality checking for the active mode so you will have test points and uh, those are numbered 6 7 10 and 11 of uh, the lcd display okay just beside the lcd display you will find these pins and uh, we need to measure these voltages with respect to these pins okay so how do we measure them it can be measured with the help of a multimeter so we will be putting the multimeter in appropriate mode, it is set in appropriate mode. And then one probe is at 0.6, test 0.6, and the other probe will be with the ground potential. Call make and call receive experiment can be done and the signals at the respective test points can be observed. So voltages for different uh, modes can be done when it is you know receiving call or when it, when a call is outgoing and when it's just stay now we will analyze okay how to uh, check for the dead mode this is the second mode of operation so we set up the tech book okay and then it detects the signals then it has sufficient network strength and then we will continue with this so we have to switch off the tech book. There is a red button on top left corner, okay, in the top. So if you long press it, okay, that's going to turn off the tech book. Then we are going to connect uh, the the whole kit, okay, to the power supply. Then we should not switch on the tech book. And then this should be kept with the charging mode. So which means the charger should be enabled. You have a switch, okay, a toggle switch which can actually turn on and off the charger. So once we do that, we can actually observe the battery uh, charging status that will get displayed on the LCD screen, uh, which is on the kit. Okay, so I'll be showing you even this uh, mode in the practical session. Now we can measure different voltages, just like how we saw in the previous mode, the active mode. We can look into the test point 6, 7, 10, 11 of uh, LCD display. And uh, you can also measure voltages at uh, the battery terminal test points. So these terminals are present next to the battery section. Uh, and they are numbered as 12 and 13 with respect to ground test point 14. Okay. So once we open up the textbook, you can actually see the reference voltages or or you can see ideal voltages um, in your textbook. And when we are performing the experiment, you can cross verify if these values are proper or not. So you will observe that the phone acts as if it is switched off. A battery charging alert is given and a battery charging indicator will be uh, shown on the display. And that will acknowledge us or that will uh, notify us that the battery is getting charged. Now remember, for this, your charging button or the toggle switch that I was talking to you about should be in on position. 
so this is about your dead mode so the first one was active mode wherein um, it is uh, it is completely on and then it can make and receive calls the second one is when your phone is in switched off mode but then the battery gets charged okay so this is a dead mode and the next one that we will look into is the sleep mode okay so uh, here also in this third mode we will have to make sure that uh, it is receiving proper signals and uh, once uh, uh, it's stable then we need to switch off the tech book uh, after a few seconds the battery should be inside then you need to measure the voltages all voltages except vcc will be zero so vcc will be you'll be getting about close to five volts um, so except that okay rest of the other voltages will be actually zero this is because your uh, tech book is off okay and the battery is uh, inserted so only the vcc voltage you will get then you can measure voltages uh, with the battery terminal test points 12 and 13 with respect to ground test point 14 so you can measure that how much voltage is actually passing through your battery now this measurements that i told you in the previous point is in the power management unit okay uh, in short it's also called pmu okay so in this power management unit you will see a set of uh, test points along with vcc so except vcc you can find that all the other points are having um, zero potential so lastly you will even observe that the sleep mode uh, all regulators are off sleep mode is activated by cpu after cpu and dsp clocks have been switched off so here what is happening is in the sleep mode you will be measuring the main thing is vcc okay and the tech book is also off uh, after some seconds so now we will get into the practicals and then you will understand exactly how we analyze and we try to get values using our multimeter. Students, this is a live demo for experiment 11, study and analysis of uh, modes of operation using Scientec 2132 kit. The objective of this experiment is to analyze the modes of your mobile phone. Here, for the experimental purpose, we are going to understand three modes of operations one is active mode the another one is dead mode and the third one is sleep mode so when i say active mode first ensure that you are connecting your power source to the tech book make sure that you have your uh, multimeter and have your ds4 if waveforms are required now to execute this experiment first ensure that the power is turned on and now I am making my mobile phone available in adopter unit. So now we are going to check the active mode operation of a mobile phone. To check active mode operation, I should turn on my mobile phone. Saying that my mobile is in active mode. So to turn on mobile phone, as I explained, long press is required. And you can see that the mobile phone is turned on. And my SIM is getting activated and this is indicated with the help of the screen LEDs. Now I am getting my introduction messages. Now, now my mobile is active. Okay. So to check what are the points I have to check. For this mainly I am using multimeter. And I am turning on it to 20 volt DC line. I am connecting my ground to the general ground point, And my positive is in my hand. Now, if you see this VCC, we can have a reading which is approximately equal to 5 volt and VRS is equal to 2.8 volt and VDIO is equal to 1.8 volt and VDD int is equal to 2.8 volt and here you can see this, it is VC that is voltage to your central processing unit is 1.8 volt and uh, voltage to your uh, another test unit is 2.8 volt 
so i am getting the all the voltages in all points saying that my mobile phone is in active mode okay apart from this i have to check the values of voltage in 6 the node 6 point is your lcd voltage which must read up to 4.9 and here in 7 it is led voltage which is equal to 1.8 volt and uh, 8 and 9 is enable control so we no don't want to measure it and for 10 it is io voltage it should be equal to 2.8 volt and here it is 11 it is reset voltage which is equal to 2.6 volt so i have to check the power management unit as well as the display voltage from 6 to 11 6 7 and 10 11 So now, by taking all the reading, I come to know that my mobile phone is in active mode. Fine. To check with the dead mode, what should I do? I should turn off this tech book. This tech book means don't turn off the total power of this particular trainer kit. You just want to switch off your mobile phone. I am activating the keypad. now this long press will enable my mobile phone to turn off so according to this this operational unit is turned off now the mode is called as dead so no supply should flow in so what should i do the next point is now we are going to remove the battery this battery charging status must be up sir for that here you can see that we have a orange toggle switch i am releasing this switch so that you can see that my charging that is my option goes to battery and in the display unit you can see the charger and uh, wait for a minute you can see the charging status this charging status without turning on the mobile phone is called as your dead mode okay now in this mode we have to check the voltage in power unit since the battery is available it is 4.18 and apart from that vrs i'm getting 2.84 and vdd i'm getting 1.8 this is 2.4 this is 1.8 this is again 2.4 so there is no drop in the voltage but when you see the sixth pin i'm getting like 4.2 and i'm getting 1.8 i'm getting 2.8 and i'm getting 1.8 so what is the difference between active mode and dead mode there is no change in the reading but in active mode you can use your mobile phone whereas in dead mode your mobile will be active but you are prevented from accessing your mobile phone because it will be only in your charging mode okay so this mode is considered as a dead mode as if you can't use your mobile phone hence it is called as dead mode now we are going to examine the third mode which is called as sleep mode operation to perform sleep mode operation again your mobile phone should be in turned off condition and what i am going to do now is i am in you can see here this is in battery now i am uh, putting this in adopter mode but the you can see that my tech book is in off state i'm going to remove this battery i'm going to remove this battery so now my phone is in sleep mode how come i can say that my phone is in sleep mode i have removed the battery you can see here i'm getting vcc 5 volt because why i'm getting vcc 5 volt my adapter is turned on and here you can see that i am getting 0 volt getting 0 volt i am getting 0 volt again i am getting 0 volt again i am getting 0 volt so there is a difference between dead mode and sleep mode in sleep mode since the battery is not available i can use my adapter and give vcc only and let us check this here i am getting 5 volt directly because this is my 
VCC point. I am not able to access my LED. You can see that it is in sleep mode. And here, 9 and 10, I should know. Uh, this 11 is giving me 2.6 reset voltage. And 10 is my IO voltage. So, where in sleep mode we can't give any input and we can't get any output, it is 0 now. So, this is how we understand the modes of operation using the trainer kit with the help of multimeter and uh, studying and analyzing the three modes of operation, active mode, dead mode and sleep mode. Thank you students.